What we're looking at are these liquid crystal monomers, which are chemicals that are used to make flat screen devices. There are many of them, and they're there in mixtures, and we really don't know anything about them. They're really no toxicological information. We didn't even know how to measure them or analyze for them. So we've developed the techniques to be able to look. We've identified about 362 uh, individual chemicals that are used in, in manufacture of flat screen devices. We've been able to find them in the environment, in dust, so people are being exposed. Major exposure pathways is in laboratories like ours, where we have a lot of this equipment. What we found when we looked in dormitories with students was much lower concentrations. We also looked at what effects they could cause and we found that they can cause adverse effects in people. So we wanted to get the word out to the scientific community so they could take a look at these. I don't know at this point if it's a problem. Uh, I just know people are being exposed and they have the potential to persist in the environment, be bioaccumulated, and cause adverse effects. So we need to look at it uh, before we make more. As humans, we're developing new technologies all the time, and they have a lot of benefits. But unfortunately, we don't always look at the potential downside of all these. So historically, we've invented things, we've used them, like DDT, like PCBs, and ultimately found out they were getting into the environment and causing adverse effects, and now we've banned them. We don't know what the answer will be for these chemicals. We just know it, that there are a lot of them, they're being used in large quantities, which is expected to grow. And right now we have very, very little information to make good judgments. So the hope is other people will get involved, take a look at these chemicals, and then we'll get that information and make a good decision.